I've been a financial dominatrix for over a decade and mentored how to get into the industry for over three years, and I'm back again talking to losers and wasting my time to show you what to avoid when you get into this. I have my time waster of today for you. They messaged me here and asked how much my tribute was. I told them 50. They asked for my payment methods and I sent all of them. You just can only see one here. They said, do you talk or just ignore? And I said money. I let them know what my initial earns and that I'm happy to ignore them or have a conversation with them. They're asking more questions about if the tribute is daily or one time, which if they're fairly new, could be a reasonable question. At this point, I probably would have cut it off, but I do it for y'all. They keep talking and I'm like, let me know when and where you send and then we can get into talking. They claim they're unable to find my payment method. So I send them the direct link. Then they come back again saying, I live in a different country. Is that okay? We're doing an online relationship here. So I don't know why it would matter that you're in a different country. All that matters is that you can send money to me. Typically I would have ended this conversation far earlier. I never want to have to put in work for my money. It's a privilege for them to send to me, and if they want it badly enough, they will do it directly. Typically, I wouldn't even be sending them my payment methods. I would expect them to find it themselves, but because this account is new and it's not easily listed, I took a chance and sent it. However, the continuous questions, claiming they're unable to find it, and then leaving me on scene when I tell them that if they continue talking, I'm gonna lose interest. Time waster, time waster, time waster. Red flags left and right. A genuine sub will want to serve you and want to pay you, and they will do it. They won't put it off. I also typically wouldn't publicly humiliate someone like this because they get off on it, but again, I'm here for y'all's education.